Hey YouTube, this is Blake the Tool Guy here again with another video. Uh, it's not a tool video this time, it's a follow-up video of my Geo Tracker. Um, if you didn't see the first one, go to my channel. Uh, it, I don't know what the title is, it's something like uh, 96 5-speed 4x4 Tracker Walk Around. But uh, in my first video, it, the engine was not installed, it had different rims and it was not lifted. <clears throat> um, so go check that out. Uh, and then come watch this. This is a uh, 96, like I said, uh, four-wheel drive, five-speed. Uh, it's got a fairly new top on it. That, as you can see through the back window, is nice and clear. Um, that is one of the old rims. I just put that on there for a spare. Those are the new wheels there. They're new to me. I bought them used uh, since the last video. I installed a trailer hitch, um, and I also installed uh, longer shocks and the spacer lift, two inch, two inch lift, and and I bought longer uh, Moog or not Moog uh, Monroe shocks, and that there is a backup alarm. I just thought it would be funny. Found it at the junkyard. I thought it'd be pretty funny to put it on tracker. Um. Oh, I also installed the fuel tank, obviously, because in the last video, the fuel tank was missing. I'll show you the inside. Put some blind spot mirrors on it, too. Those really help. Uh, my dad and I recovered the uh, door panels and the Rebel flag, because I just thought that would be really cool. Uh, the other one as well. And I found that online. I thought that was really cool, because the Puerto Ricans always put their Puerto Rico flag, so I thought that would be pretty cool. Uh, phone mount. I bought that at a yard sale. Goes on the uh, on the vent there. I put a new radio in. It's Pioneer Bluetooth, no CD player, but Bluetooth and USB and audio and all that. And there's the uh, hands-free mic to talk on your phone. Uh, 158 uh, thousand miles on it. This is actually a, a used uh, instrument cluster that I bought at the junkyard because mine crapped out. Mine read about 205 when this one was put in. So this, not the accurate miles, but I don't really care. Uh, Mossy Oak steering wheel cover. Uh, Five-speed shifter. Uh, Four-wheel drive shifter. Handbrake. Uh, I put a uh, fire extinguisher in. It was like 14 bucks at Walmart. Figured better safe, you know. Better to have something and not need it than to need it and not have it, you know. Because my brother's sheep actually caught fire. And he didn't have one, but luckily someone stopped. So that was a... I just wanted to add that. Uh, I got six by nine speakers in the back. I added those in. They were not, that, those are not factory. The, those holes, I had to cut those holes. Uh, rear buckets. Most of them had a rear bench. So I'm, these are a lot nicer because I can fold one down but still have a second person, you know, riding with me. So I'll show you the motor. Uh, it's in the, to pop the hood, it's in the glove box. I'll start it up and then show it to you. Make sure it's in neutral. Let me uh, fire it up. No, no check engine light. Uh, take the brake off. Daytime running lamps come on. ABS lights on. I don't know why, but ABS works. So it's weird. Idles around uh, 800 with the AC off. And goes up to about a thousand, nine hundred to a thousand when the AC's on, but the AC does work. Um, show you the motor. I also uh, removed the front bumper and put on uh, that redneck uh, rebel flag tag and some stickers because it looks a lot better without the bumper. I'll show you the motor. There it is, rebuilt 16 valve. I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, stock manifold, I need to replace it. It's got a crack in it. Aftermarket uh, KNN cone filter. Uh, new Walmart battery. New radiator cap. Uh, everything's all brand new, rebuilt. Rebuilt motor. Everything inside is new. New wires, new plugs, new distributor cap, new rotor, everything. Uh, it just purrs like a kitten, as you can hear it. 
I, uh, I actually did a muffler delete on it. That's why it sounds better than factory. Let me show you. Oh, not here, it's, it's under here. Right there is the muffler delete. It welds in right there. And right over there, that's where the muffler used to be. I don't know if you can hear me. That's where the muffler used to be. And then the front lift is that spacer there. And the spacer down there on the spring. And I gotta get bigger tires. These are just the tires that were on the wheels when I got them. But I need to replace the tires. They're just too small. And turn the lights on. Just rev it. Oh, I replaced the horn too. But uh, yeah, it runs pretty good. Radio works good. I got that for like 40 bucks on Walmart.com. It's a remanufactured USB audio. Uh, another compartment because it's a smaller radio. But uh, yeah, I've taken it uh, off-road and mud and all that, and it even with these little highway tires on it, it really does good. So uh, that's just my follow-up video. I figured you guys might want to see that, and I wanted to show it to you anyway. So uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.